All right, guys. So now we're going to talk about camshafts. That's fun. But, you know, as usual, we're not going to make it too complicated. This is for everybody. So we are just going to scrape the surface a little bit of camshafts and what they do. If it's, you know, if it's a good idea to, to change camshafts. Maybe, maybe not. We'll see you in 10 minutes. All right. So, the camshaft is the thing that controls your engine, it's the heart of your engine. And of course, if you have a 606 like we have, the pump is maybe the heart, but the camshaft still controls the engine. So, that's why we don't have torque at low RPM, for example, because the cams are not designed for that. So, the camshafts has a maximum torque uh, RPM and a maximum power RPM. And this is, you know, adjustable through the rev range a little bit. So, towards each other and, you know, like 10,000 RPM max power and 1,000 RPM max torque it's not really possible and that's why we have the variable cam systems like Vanos and whatever you know so we can adjust the cams on the go but we can grind the cam or have a cam manufactured to the specifications we need I want maximum power at 10,000 rpm and then you're gonna get that so you know and this is a fucking layer cake so let's First of all, you can always force your engine to do things it doesn't want to do. You know, you can put the VNT turbo on, on your 606 and you can force it to make torque down low. But it's going to choke and not going to give any power. So it's like you can force it, but that's not how the engine is built. And this discussion we have today is about your engine doing what it's good at. No, so we just give it a little bit of help, big turbo, good pump, so on, and then we let the engine do its job. The camshafts are based on three parameters. It's a lot fucking more, but this is a simple video. So we have um, a center line, and this center line is something that a variable cam sprocket or a Vano system can change. But we are using fix, fixed cams. So this controls when the valves start to open more or less. Or let's say when they are maximum open really because yeah. So this is, this is when they are maximum open because then we have. Um, this is so fucking hard in the videos because I always forget the words. I hate it. We have a fucking center line in the camshafts, you know? So we have a cam lobe and there's a center in there. And we have the um, lift of the cam, of course. So we can have a higher lift or a lower lift or same lift as standard or whatever. Uh, and we also have the duration. And the duration is how long the valve going to be open, you know? So it's going to start open earlier and close later. And this is then, you know, the base circle, pretty base circle. I'm so fucking stupid, you know. So the fucking center line is, um, is determining on our fixed cams when the valve is going to start open and closing. With an adjustable cam sprocket, we can adjust that ourselves. Not on the fly, though. So, but the thing is that we're not going to go into camshafts in the depth because we don't have two fucking hours to talk about camshafts. So now we're not going to talk about the highest performance, blah, 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 blah. We're going to talk about what the camshaft actually does. And the camshaft moves your power and torque. So, 
if this is for you guys, because for me this is the fucking opposite way. But um, if we have a, a dinograph that's going to be in this way for you, you know, no power, low RPM, a lot of power, a lot of RPM. For me, it's the fucking other way. But this is for you. So we have a maximum torque RPM and we have a maximum power RPM. On the 606, we know that the maximum power is given at about 5.5. Like 5,400 and fucking something RPM. So 5,500 RPM. Let's just, you know, settle with that. So is it good to have a camshaft that moves the power band? So with cams that give maximum power at 6.5 or a 7 or 7.5 seven or 8. Is that any good? Will that gain anything for me and my engine? That's the discussion. And the discussion is then, is it good for me to swap cams? In my opinion, yes. But it depends on your power goal and your use of the car. I am not an off-road guy. I drive on the street. You know? So for me, if it revs, happy days. Off-road off guys, you might need, you know something even more gentle than a stock cam you know so maybe someone can produce a minus one stage minus one instead of, instead of a stage one and so on we we'll see about that but moving the power band up ergo swapping fucking cams is that any good yes it is I'm going to take a couple of examples, but a lot of you guys are American or use some other system than metric. I don't know what it's called. It's some alien alphabet. But I'm going to use that as well. So you don't have to do the conversion. But us, the European guys that use Newton meters and shit like that. Ah, we have to do the conversion, but I don't give a shit because I'm not going to do all the numbers. So this is a foot pound of torque for you guys. Uh, we know that we have 177 horsepower at like roughly 5,500 RPM. So the horsepower, this side for you guys, because this is torque curve. The horsepower is always a calculation. The calculation is exact in a specific mathematical formula, but it is actually torque. This torque at this RPM will give you this amount of horsepower. So 177 horsepower at 5.5 five is 170 foot-pounds of torque. So is swapping cams any good? Let's say you put in cams that have the max power at 6.5. Your identical 170 foot-pounds of torque is now 210 horsepower. What? You gained fucking 23 horsepower, yes, by revving a thousand RPM more? It's insane, isn't it? But you're not happy. You want cams that gives the maximum power at 7,000 RPM. So you 170 foot-pounds of torque is now 227 horsepower. Wow. So that means that we can have more or less a stock engine that revs more and we have 227 horsepower of, uh, of uh, horsepower 227 horsepower hmm. interesting but let's go up you know so you understand this most of you guys want 400 horsepower that's like the given number 400 horsepower stock cams five and a half thousand rpm 380 380 foot pounds of torque but rev a thousand more, six five. So let's call it stage one and stage two cams, right? Just for the sake of discussion, you put the stage cam, uh, stage one cams in, 
And instead of 400 horsepower at 380 foot-pounds of torque, you now have 470 horsepower. You gain 70 horsepower by revving 1,000 RPM. You rev another 500, 7,000, stage 2 cams. Boom, shakalak, 500 horsepower. Same, 380 foot-pounds of torque. Interesting, huh? So is swapping cams any good? Let's keep on for fuck's sake. You know, 570 foot-pounds of torque at 5,500 RPM is what? It's 600 horsepower. Ooh, woof. My 6 of 6 does 600 horsepower. Yeah, but you're still a fucking wanker because you rev 5.5. So 6.5. That's more, you know, more of the game. Wow, 570 foot-pounds of torque at 6,500 RPM is 700 horsepower. 700? Come on, man. That's 100 horsepower for revving 1,000 RPM more. Is cams, I mean, is swapping cams any good? But you want to rev like a man. 7,000 RPM. So, you have camshafts that give maximum power 7,000 RPMs. We call them in this video stage 2 cams. 760 horsepower. 160 horsepower more than with cams that give maximum power at 5.5. Hmm. Interesting, isn't it? So now you know why the Honda Vtec engines gives a lot of power, you know? You can think like, oh, it's a two liter, you know, the fucking K-series, and it puts out 240 horsepower. Yeah, that's really good, you know, but there's a lot of engine that does that, yeah. And then you shook a fucking, uh, shook a fucking uh, leaf blower on it, and it makes 800. Yeah, because the fucking engine revs nine and a half. So that's the thing. Power and RPM goes hand in hand. If we want to make power, we have to rev. And the thing is that you sit at home and you think that your engine will break sooner if you rev than if you don't. Think again. If you make 600 horsepower, you know, you have your 570 fucking foot pounds of torque at 5,500 RPM. You know, at three and a half, you're gonna have fucking maximum torque. And it's gonna be a shitload of fucking load on your engine. And you have to, you're gonna boost the fucking three and a half bars. If you rev more, you can build boost later and still have the same RPM scale to work with, you know? So, Revving more will save your engine, not the opposite. The engine doesn't matter, you know, it doesn't care. Oh, I'm revving 1500 RPM more. I'm gonna die. It's not gonna fucking die. You know, you're just revving more. What the fuck is the problem? You know, so we have hydraulic lifters and people have this fucking bullshit. Uh, you can't rev with a fucking hydraulic lifters. Of course you can. You know, and we're not revving nine, ten thousand. But you, if you have full load at six five, the stage one cams, you know, uh, in this example. So if your pump builder will build your pump with full fucking load at six five, then you're gonna have full fuel at that RPM, and that is really good because that. You know, gonna work with everything you have in your setup. If you have a standard pump, you can't you can't make power at six five or seven thousand. So, yeah, I mean, it doesn't matter if you change your fucking cams. But you're building an engine, so you know what you're doing, and you've seen my other fucking forty videos. But this is the thing: moving your power band up through the RPM range will make more power. And it will make your engine more reliable. 
torque down low? No. That is a fucking race car, it doesn't matter. And even if you use it as a daily, I mean, you can't use a Honda S2000 as a daily car. You can't use an E46 M3 as a daily car. What? Of course you fucking can. And the fucking M3, it has two foot pounds of torque until you come over 6000 RPM. What, what, if, if it's fucking uphill and you're doing 50 miles an hour, you have to open the fucking door of your M3 and help with your fucking foot because it's so fucking weak. But you can daily that car and nobody's complaining. Everybody, oh, I have an M3, it's so fucking good. I had an M3. It's so fucking bad and slow. <laughs> but it's like, yeah, it doesn't fucking matter. But this is cars that has no fucking torque at all at low RPM. And people just run around in the city in that car. It's just a normal fucking car. So you, your three liter diesel engine, you know, with a fucking piston of 800 grams, you don't think you can daily that car because you move your RPM range a little bit? Of course you can. So, is swapping cams any good? Yes, it is. You're gaining fucking 160 horsepower of swapping cams. 600 to 760. Yes, by moving the RPM range from 5.5 to 7,000 RPM. So, that's it. I hope you learned something and if you want me to use other swear words, you can send me some mes messages and I will practice on those because right now everything is just fucking. So I think I need a little bit uh, better vocabulary. See you in a couple of days because I have other shit to do than videos apparently. But uh, freedom of speech. Just fucking watch what you're saying, man. Bye.